Hello everyone! Welcome back for more Let's Play Control. Joining we me! Hi. We suck at this timing. Is Lady Mage. So I was gonna we say have... we had to wrestle the phone back from the cats. Drive something a bad influence on Blackjack! We have just gotten a disc. An old, very old floppy disc. Thinking old 80 that kilobytes. That both me and Surat would recognize because we grew up when those things were normal. So, if you want to know how to use launch, we have. We can do this. We can just knock all that stuff down, but the more fun way Where's is to the... activate our Jedi powers. We tap E, and then we tap E. And it kind of, it kind of, you don't get really direct the launch all that much. It's going, she's going to try to launch it right down the center of the corridor there. So, we have gained the power of Yeet. Yep. We don't have Kobe, though. Kobe is for accuracy. So, what the thing told us to do, the voice, told us to line up the cube into the window over there. So we just gonna grab one. Neat. You'll also notice a little meter that appeared on the screen when we picked something up. That is our energy meter. So how long we can hang on to it before we drop it? Not necessarily how long we can hang on to it, because it doesn't drain very quickly while we're holding on to something. But it's more how many we can pick up before we need to kind of rest a bit. In this case, oh. we can pick up two before we've got to, got to give it a break. Oops. Also, we can pick up the chunks of things that we drop. Like I said, we have gained the power of Yeet. Yep. This is going to be our funniest power, isn't it? Potentially. Come on. Uh, it's not forcing us to use just the new power, it's just... Yep. It's We don't have to use the new power. It just Why the hell to... wouldn't we? We ran out of stuff to eat. Oh no, we didn't. We got rubble. I meant that's the reason we stopped using the power. We would oh, run out yeah. of stuff to throw. In any nuts in any goodies to pick up beyond the health pickups. And so we have passed the yeet test. Yep. And we're going to need that ability. Because now there are going to be enemies that once again you saw one of them that was kind of cloaked until we meleeed it. Now they're going to be enemies that are cloaked until we pop them with something. The energy meter regenerates fast! 
Yes, it does. So you saw some of the things we picked up, right? Yes. Size matters not. <laughs> we launched some pencils in a cup. I launched a whole freaking generator! Yep. We have a dolly. Oh! Oh my god, we can ye Oh god, it's the gravity gun. This is the freaking gravity gun. And you see some of these things that say flammable gas on them? Oh no! They explode! Oh great! Thank you, game! <laughs> that thing just slowly fell over. <laughs> well, that broke. This game just went... Okay. I have a theory about the creators of this game. I think they absolutely loved the gravity gun from Half-Life and went, we want that in this game. It is possible. So let's do a quick jog around for any hidden things that dropped off of a mob. Or things to eat, because apparently this is, this is our life now. This is amazing. Unfortunately, Behold we the can't power. pick up the we can't pick up those lids and eat them. Ah. Uh, we can't pick up like everything else in the game. Where's the fire? Oh, smoke bomb. Well, it more explodes and does some splash damage, but yeah. Wait, can we eat dead bodies? I don't think so, because most of the dead bodies disappear in puffs of smoke. Well, there's one we could test it on. Oh, his body's gone. Yep, it disappeared in a puff of smoke. So now remember that area that we couldn't get through before because they were playing Tetris. That's, that's where we needed to go. Well, they stopped playing Tetris. said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. You know, you should have worn the stupid thing, dumbass. Okay, I've got to be careful. Because I'm pretty sure once I cross a certain point around here... It's going to uh, trigger, trigger actual something. fights. We do not like water coolers! Nope. Ah, when I get a different type of weapon for them, I have a mod for it. So we're getting close to that spot. Dear God. He better look like the crazy preacher from D and D. Cause this is going to be his voice in my head from now on. Well remember, I don't think he's home anymore. I think it's all the hiss.
As far as I'm concerned, running back to previous areas and using that for cover is a totally legitimate tactic. Again, the armor of invincibility in this game might be the one carrying the jukebox of power. It would be hilarious. Yeah. Aha. This must open the door. We found a clearance badge. Another poor sod who got killed even though he had his protection on. We also found this. A control point that doesn't need to be cleansed. Oh, she is cleansing it. Yep. Well, that's handy. What the fuck? Mold. Don't let mold hit your ride. Um, this isn't Resident Evil 7. This is... Control game. We are dealing with something that has mold in it, though. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, um... To Resident Evil 7, no thank you. Let's see. I know where we need to go. Roughly that way. But now we have three different... We have three different fast travel points. And also, all the doors that are marked clearance level 01, we can now open. Hallelujah! Which I'm not going to bother with right now, because I don't remember where all of them are. We'll remember. Not ominous we just had to open this door at all. No, this whole game is ominous, let's be real. And I'm about dead. I'm dead. I don't know how to hit him yet. I think I see what I need to do now. I keep ramming into things when I'm trying to dodge. Well, that was my mistake. Oof. That was my mistake. Was Dang it, didn't get back undercover. Ah! You are close. Dang it. Wow. So I know this what I'm first... doing. I know what I'm doing wrong. I just don't know if I can correct the doing wrongness. The first boss is rough. If I were halfway competent at third person shooters, this would not be a problem. I don't know, him flying around and dodging like that might be a little tricky at least. Let's cut a little bit of damage to myself down so I can take another hit or two. 
Yeah, I think that's part of the problem is, like, with all the other enemies there, that's what's causing more of the havoc. Hello, Mr. Crawly Man, who preaches and... Great. He's half dead, that's good. Oh no. Finally. I didn't even need the pelt that time. I didn't get hit enough. I have a feeling he'll be back. I didn't even need the help that time. I didn't even take enough damage. Uh, I still vote that it was still good to have. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. So he flew off in a huff. Yep. He looked... Uh, feral, I'm gonna say? Well, he was completely not... hiss-infected. That's a problem. See, the pattern is supposed to go, you chuck something at him, he dives hard, and you can hit him with a few quick shots to the gun while he's... after he recovers. Okay, uh, so that's why you anything... get the... I'm not seeing anything hidden. Like any, uh... Any vaults or anything like that. So, if you're hiss infected, you either go catatonic or you go psychotic. Yeah, seems like it. Oh, well, that took a lot longer than I expected. So, I think I'm going to call this a video here. Now that yeah. we finally defeated Tomasi. Well, Tomasi part one, I have a bad feeling. So, yeah, we'll, we'll probably meet him again. So anyway, when we come back, maybe we will finally find this hotline the director wanted to yell at us about. Now that we've undergone a boss fight six, seven times there. I am a little afraid to... Can these his things even talk? I mean, it, he was clearly, like, preaching. He's been talking to us. So, yeah, great. You hear our words and you forget. Push your fingers to the surface to the wet. I am not doing that. <laughs> you wanted to poke the thing. Yes, before Crazy Pants started <laughs> preaching about it. But anyway, maybe next time we see a phone. So until then, take care, everyone.